Once upon a time, there was a world where half of the people wasted 70 litres of drinkable water every day just to flush their toilet, while at the same time the other half were dying of thirst. Then, at the beginning of 2009, two friends living in the Netherlands, a country constantly threatened by floods and too much water, had the dream to redistribute water in a fairer way. They started to think about how to do that. They thought they needed a sort of very long water pipe, long enough to bring water where there was none. But that was a massive thing to do for only two people. That's how they came up with jointhepipe.org, the first social community of tap water drinkers. The idea of the two friends was to design a set of bottles that resembled a water pipe element, then sell it to all the members of the community. And with the money raised, they would finance the installation of pumps, wells and other water projects in Africa and Asia. So they went to a factory and produced their bottles in a durable plastic so that you could keep them all your life and save the planet from drowning in an ocean of plastic water bottles. And they also created water carafes for the restaurants and tap water stations for parks and public spaces. When they were ready, the two friends asked everyone to join. At first, there were only relatives and friends, but soon schools, commercial companies, museums, Nobel Prize winners, actors, football clubs, event makers, airports, water companies, they all started to join from all over the world. In April 2010, Earth Month, Aveda Benelux joined and invited everyone to buy a bottle at the Walk for Water to finance the installation of another six water pumps in Congo. Then they opened a website, a sort of Google under Earth, where members could see how long the pipe would become and check where their donations ended up. The two friends became 200 and then 3,000. The pipe became longer and longer and today over 10,000 people that didn't have water have water to drink. Now they hope the pipe will continue to grow until we are going to live in a world where half of the people has drinkable water and the other half too.